Hello everyone and welcome to Slip Joint Sawyer. Today we're going to be taking a look at another model knife from Victorinox and we're going to be taking a look at a Swiss Army knife and that's going to be the Waiter. Now the Waiter would come in a box very similar to this. I actually picked up this knife off the secondary market so I don't have the exact box but it comes in a standard style silver box. Uh, makers of the original Swiss Army knife. See we have some of their contact information on the back there, plain, and you would normally have a model number on one of these sides here. <clears throat> and then in the box, standard style paperwork from Victorinox, how to use the tools, etc, etc, how to look after the knife. Probably all seen this a load of times, so I won't spend too much time on that. But as I mentioned, we're going to be taking a look at the waiter today, and this one is the reason I picked it up, because it was in the blue Celador scales, and I don't actually own any in this solid blue scales. But we're looking at the Waiter, which is an 84 millimeter model, and that equates to where are we look in one, two, three, three, three and a quarter, nearly just 3.4 inches closed. And the model number for this is 0 0.3303. You see, we have this really nice inlaid Victorinox shield on here. And you can see there is quite a few scratches on here. This has been used and carried and loved by someone previously. So another reason why I picked it up, I love picking up older knives that have been used and someone's got a lot of use out of them. It really does make me want to carry them a bit more, maybe get a bit more use out of them myself as well. Well, the waiter then, we have a single layer design. It did come with the original key ring on here, but it's quite large for a one layer design. So most of my sort of knives I replace for a smaller key ring, something similar to the 58 millimeter size. You can see it's not as wide there. And once you put a little lanyard on there, it's... Oh, it's so much better than the larger key ring. I just really prefer that. So whoever had this then, I'm pretty sure these would be aftermarket scales. I don't think there was a waiter that came with blue scales, but they also installed blue tools on here. So you can see we have the blue end cap on the tweezers. And on the back, then we have the toothpick, which also has a solid blue on there. See that there? Both of which are brand new. Don't know if they've been used at all. And they just slot nicely in the scale tool gaps on there. And then I mentioned as well, one of the tools we have is the key ring. And then on the back, we have the corkscrew as well. Not a super old knife. This is the most modern tang stamp. So I'd say it's maybe only like five, six years old at the most. But it has been used and loved by someone, which is really great to see. Nice corkscrew there. These extra scales actually have room for a pin. So I'm probably going to get a pin and put that in there. Maybe try and get one with a blue end cap on it to match the scale tools. Give it a bit more a bit more tool and functionality on there. May even get some uh, a corkscrew screwdriver in there too. Along with that, we have a main blade. Slightly shorter, this being an 84mm. You can see we have the most modern tang stamp on here, which is Victorinox Swiss Made Stainless. And then Officer Swiss on the back. Blade length then for the 84mm tip to tang is pretty much bang on the two and a half inch mark, maybe the slightest part over. But then the blade length we're looking at 2.1 inches, so a very UK friendly knife and one that's pretty much going to be friendly everywhere around the world. I mean it's sub three inch blade, non-locking and it's a two hand opening so I know most places will accept that. Nice action on the tool. Nice snap on the close, we're about a five, and then it gets to about a six, six and a half in the lockup. And you can see there's a lot of sort of give in that. It's not super easy to push down. And Victorinox are those knives that are lighter use, but they really do feel super confident in the hand. No concerns that this is gonna sort of close on you. We can see there the use on the blade. We've got some scratches on there. I haven't really tried to take any of those out. I'm happy to leave those in. All I've really done is put a nice little edge on there just to make it a nice user knife. And this one will get carried. I'm gonna probably carry this one today or tomorrow and see how I like the waiter, because I've never actually carried one. But along with that then, we get on the other side, the combo tool. Now this is a combination, hence the name combo tool, of the cap lifter and the tin opener from the normal sort of opening layer. You can see we have the wire bender, the cap lifter, smaller flathead screwdriver and you can actually use the corner up here as a number two Phillips and this has also been done in such a way I don't know if it's easy to tell if I open it all the way you can see the top here is slightly bent over and you can just about see the bend in the tool if I move the light over it see it just up here and that allows it to be a tin opener as well now is it as good as the regular one no 
Is it good for a compromise for all the tools? Yes, I love the combo tool. I'm a big fan of it on the compact and I just think on this it's going to be fantastic as well. But we have a half stop on there. Nice clean nail nick and that classic Victorian Ox finish. It's like that tumbled polished finish. Nice snap on that tool and for me, I know John mentioned it at Thrifty Kniffy in one of his reviews, but my favourite thing to fidget with, along with any sort of double detent knife, is pretty much the cap lifter or this combo tool. I find myself sitting there for quite a while snapping it back and forth. Probably not the best thing to do, but I think it's a nice fidget factor for these Victorinox Swiss Army knives. Look at the back then. Again, you can see the use on the scales, but I really love this blue. I'm going to have to see if I can pick some more of these up, maybe for a 91mm, because I think they're absolutely fantastic. Overall, a great little starter knife for anyone. Maybe um, maybe your child or a friend who's looking to get into knives, you can get them something not with a huge blade, something that's very sort of world legal. A decent set of tools on here as well, with the corkscrew, the combo tool and that main blade, as well as you actually get the tool scales on here as well, because I know for a while the waiter was coming as an eco without those tools, so it's nice to see those on there. Keyring, if they want to put it on their keys, I'll put a little lanyard on it. For me, I put a little lanyard on it, maybe the little Victorian Ox ones, and then I have that in a little slip. But overall, really impressed with this knife. Going to give it a carry and see what I think. But they are, they're not that expensive either. You can get them on, the, on Amazon for right about £20 and less. And they're available on Victorinox in the US and in the UK as well. And I believe they're also available on Amazon in the, U in the US. Overall, an absolute bargain of a knife. If something you're looking to get into Swiss Army knives, offers a fantastic range of tools. And I really would recommend to anyone picking this one up, especially if you're starting out or if you want to fill out your collection. This may be one that you've overlooked. So there we go, guys. That is my review of the Victorinox Waiter Swiss Army Knife. And the model number for that, again, is 0 0.3303. Please be sure to like, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.